Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to do a massive deep clean organization of my fragrances. They have gotten completely out of control. It looks like the perfume fairy puked all over my bedroom. So there are perfume boxes, like it's it's a nightmare. It's actually really embarrassing. So it's embarrassing, but I can't wait to show it to you because it's such a mess. So I want to figure out what fragrances I want for the next couple of months out. Uh, you know, even though it's actually pretty warm here, like we haven't even really, we got snow. We had a bit of a blizzard. It was totally snowy at the beginning of October. And then it all melted and we've been basically above zero for all of November, which is miraculous. And I'm certainly not complaining. However, it is the Christmas winter season coming and I'm really wanting those, uh, you know, cozy, delicious kind of deeper fragrances out. And I've got some kind of mixed in, but not a whole lot. So I am going to go through and choose the fragrances that I want in my carousels. I can't wait, but before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the Weird and Wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community and let's get to work. So I'm starting with the cutest thing in the bedroom, which is this little girl, Tasha. She's awesome. So um, basically uh, this is what's happened. I've exploded. I've got perfumes kind of everywhere. This is cleaned up a little bit, um, but this is what I'm dealing with. It's actually embarrassing, <laughs> but uh, these are all the, I don't know just way too much stuff. And so I've got crap everywhere, perfumes everywhere. Uh, so I've pulled out all my bins and I'm gonna try rearrange. I've even got stuff over there. So kind of a mess. And this is called Real Life. My husband has lots of books. I wasn't gonna put them away to make my room look all pretty, but this, this is the bedroom and the perfume fairy has puked all over my dresser. So it definitely needs to be dealt with. So let's get started. Are you ready, Tasha? Good. So the first thing that I'm going to do is pull out all the fragrances that I know I'm not gonna be reaching for for the next little while. So these are going to go, this one you can definitely wear all year round, actually all three of these, but I'm really gravitating towards warmer fragrances right now. So any that I see that I know I'm not going to reach for over the next season, I'm pulling out, so these, that one gets to stay. My, these ones get to go, so Coco Mademoiselle. Th these are, like I said, all year round, but I'm just craving uh, the deeper, darker stuff. So uh, Floral Street, Hanny Mori, these all need to be put away. Um, Dua's Coffee and Irish Whiskey. I hate this. It's just way too strong. I sprayed one spray. So I've had this for like almost a year now. I sprayed one spray uh, and it was so strong. It, it basically was overwhelming and people could smell it just from one spray. So this is just too much for me. Like it's the most potent thing I've ever smelt. So, uh, and, and not in a good way. <laughs> okay, as far as the perfumes on this one, I'm putting away... Uh, the Chronic uh, Rouge Extreme till the summertime. Um, other than that, all of that can stay. I'm going to get rid of Sunshine. Um, I'm going to get rid of Laclat. I'm going to get rid of Rosaliande. And the rest can stay, including Mon Guerlain. See, I've even got tape in here. It's just a disaster. Look at, look at the mess. It's disgusting. Okay, let's move on. So these are all the perfumes that I want to put in uh, the carousels. So I've emptied them out. I think I'm likely going to have to edit some more, uh, but we'll get going. I've got a few additions that are coming soon as well that have to be added. So I need at least enough room for about six more fragrances in here. So it could be tricky. I think I'm gonna have to start doing this more often and just switching out the fragrances more. Uh, Cause I really love my carousels. I like how accessible the fragrances are to me. So let's, let's get at it. As per usual, I am going to take all the fragrances out now uh, because I want to arrange them in a way that looks nice. So they're all, oops, yeah, as I break them, 
they're all going to get removed out of the carousel and then I'll try to figure it out step by step. Okay, so this is now completely empty except for these two because I know that they're going to go there. Uh, so anyway, we're going to start with this shelf. It's always easier to start top down. And some of them, like, you know, when I'm going through, I realize, oh, there's lots of fragrances that I absolutely don't want to use. Uh, so as I see them, I just pull them out. So this one's going to go, and so is Scandal Epery for now. I'm just really craving the dark ones. So I'm going to start by putting some of my favorite, uh, favorite current favorites. So I'm going to do Jardin. Oh, no, I don't want Jardin de Mispa. This one I really like, but I want to leave it out for a while. So I want Suma Oriental here, and I want Sugared Leather. Oh, that's what's happening. Okay, so I'm going to put those two right there. Love both of these fragrances. And then to put something in the middle, I think I'm going to go with uh, Kay Alley's uh, Sugared Patchouli Royale. Love this fragrance. So I'm going to put Blackbird in here. Uh, this is literally one of, seriously, one of my favorite fragrances. I'm going to put Mevlana in there as well. Love these two. And then I'm actually going to put in uh, a couple more wood bottles. So I'm going to put Symposium in by Teodoro Calatini because I want to give it a try. And I'm going to put Tobacco Maniac up here as well. I'm not sure. Uh, actually, I'm going to arrange this different. I'm going to do Blackbird in front, Mavlana in the back, Symponi Symphonium like that. Does that work? Yeah, let's do it like that. It's not great, but it'll do. So I kind of want these wood bottles just together because then I know what they are. Uh, moving on to this shelf. You know what? I'm tempted just because I like to stuff them in to put Lyra in there. It gets a little, ah, oh, it's too crowded. I don't like this. See, this is where it begins. This is where the craziness ensues. Okay, let's try that. Oh, let's do that, that, symposium at the back. There, that looks better. Way better. Okay. <laughs> it's like a puzzle. It's a puzzle, people. Okay, moving on to this one. Uh, really loving Navitus's Absolutio. So I want that in there. And then I'm actually going to, I'm going to pull it forward and I'm going to put uh, Soleil d'Hiver by um, EPC or Exp Experimental Perfume Club and then Sable Gris, uh, two of my new favorites. Oh, I just love these fragrances. That looks pretty, pretty sexy, man. Like, look at that. It looks wintry, it looks Christmas. I'm wondering if I have something I can put on either side of this. That might get too crowded though. So I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Move to this one. I wanna put some easy reach fragrances for me. So I'm going to do Must Noir Rose for Her by Narciso Rodriguez. I want to put Nina Ricci in here as well. Nina Ricci and Must Noir Rose for Her kind of remind each other, or remind me of each other. Um, I also kind of want to put, no, that's not an easy reach. So on this one, I'm thinking daytime type fragrances. So I'm also going to put Benyon on floor. To me, this fragrance is honestly uh, probably more springy or whatever, but it's just a fun fragrance. Uh, it smells like bubble gum, so I really, I, I want to have it out. And what else can I put in here? Let me see. I'm going to put uh, Labelle in there as well. So I'm going to do it like that. Okay, so that's my first shelf. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so we're going to start with this tall shelf because uh, I, it's utilitarian. I need to use tall fragrances for this shelf. I actually think I'm going to put, oh, it's too big for even that shelf. Okay, let's leave that. Okay, so what else is going to go on this tall shelf? I think I'm going to put my milks in there. I've got two milks. Maybe will this fit in here? I could put that. That kind of works. And then maybe actually I'll put uh, Shirgi in here. They don't kind of they don't kind of work together, but they kind of look good together. So, oh dear, 
So I'm gonna leave that like that. This is my tiniest shelf. This is the most difficult shelf to use. I'm going to go with uh, Alien Essence Absolute. I'm really going to wear this a little bit more. I save it and hoard it, uh, but that's useless because at some point the fragrance isn't gonna, at some point the fragrance doesn't last. So I wanna put that in there. I'm going to put uh, my Twilight Shimmer in there because I really like that fragrance. I wanna get some more use out of it. I wonder if my, will these fit in there? Nope. Uh, oh, will Lyra? Nope. <laughs> we go through this every time. Every single solitary time. Will this fit there? No! Okay, like seriously, I failed. I, I Evidently I failed. Oh, hold it. Will these fit? Okay, those will fit. So I'm going to just put Cherry Delight there for now. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's pull Cherry Delight out. I'm going to put Wanted Girl uh, by, by whoever. <laughs> and I'm going to throw, no, I'm not going to, I'm actually, I'm going to just leave it like that. If it gets too full, I can't reach at them and then I don't grab them. So we'll leave it like that. Next shelf. Um, I want to do uh, my uh, Theodorus, uh, Teodoro Calatoni fragrances. I Am Beautiful. Actually, that's a fragrance that could have gone up here. Uh, because it's definitely an everyday fragrance. But there's no room there for now. Oh, you know what? This could go down here. Okay, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this uh, I am beautiful up on my shelf uh, that's for um, kind of everyday fragrances. And then I'm gonna put this one down here, but I'm gonna try to rearrange this so that I can actually grab at these fragrances. There we go. So it doesn't look pretty, but it's functional. And that's what I care more about because I want to be able to grab these. Caramel Oud, oh my goodness. One of my new favorites. So I've got that there. I want to put in my Chabot. So I'm thinking about kind of gourmands uh, or semi-gourmands here. So I want my Chabot there. Uh, golden Rum and Amber, will that fit? Maybe I'll just leave it like that. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I guess I could throw this in there, but I don't want to. Actually, I think I'm going to throw Ambery Vetiver. I think this is the um, dupe for Belle de Frique. I actually really enjoy it. It's kind of fresh and clean. I'm probably not going to grab it that much, so I want to put it in the back. So this is what I've got going on here. I'm really excited because I'm getting Les de Biscuit, and I like it even better than Les, de Ch Les Chocolat. Lay Chocolat, it's so beautiful. Uh, if you love like basically a hot chocolate fragrance, it's so great. But um, the Lay, Lay de Biscuit, just it's stellar. So on this shelf, okay, so I'm going to do some black bottles on this shelf. I think we're going to go with Santel Royal. Gorgeous fragrance, very similar to Blackbird by Untamed. I like Blackbird better, but this one is beautiful too. You don't really need both, I don't think, but I, I love both. So I'm going to put La Petite Robe Noir Black Perfecto in here. Uh, such a great fragrance. And I'm going to put Mandorle in here because it's kind of a um, kind of a leathery, kind of cherry, woody, all three of these kind of. You could wear them all together, honestly. That would be a little crazy, but you could. Okay, so now this shelf. I want to start with the lowest shelf and try to fill that up first. Uh, as you can see, I still have Jasmine and Wisp in here. I didn't even pull it out. Um, I really, really enjoy this fragrance. It may go for a while because for December especially, I'm wanting the more spicy fragrances. I'm actually going to pull this out. So I definitely want Cherry Punk in here because I adore Cherry Punk. It's so beautiful. Uh, I'm going to put Lyra in here. I'm actually going to go like that. And then I'm going to put in the only one, if it'll fit. This is not a nice bottle, but it's what I have. I'm going to toss this in the back. Uh, it's the actual bottle, but this the bottle broke, so it's like that. So I'm going to put those together. Then on this shelf... I think I'm going to put, if it fits, 
I'm going to put milk in here. I'm actually tempted. You know what? I'm going to put milk in this one if it fits. Yeah. So I'm going to take this out and I'm going to put milk in here because I actually like wearing these two together. So I'm going to put that there in this shelf. I'm going to put the only one. I'm going to put La Vie Belle in here as well. And I think I'm going to do Coffee Addict. Can I fit any others in there? I'm going to throw Meleg uh, Perfume Cherry Rose in there as well. And that just kind of, that works. Woohoo! Okay, moving on to the last largest. I'm going to put Swiss Arabian Shaykhoff Oud. And we're going to do Spice Bomb. These two would actually work really well together. And I'm going to throw uh, kryptonite in here. I'm actually going to put kryptonite in the back like this, this time, uh, so that I can kind of grab at all three. And then this is the last shelf. I'm going to do Fifth Avenue Royale. Love this fragrance. A little bit like Noir Pour Femme, in my opinion. Uh, I'm going to throw my uh, newfound uh, appreciation for this. Someone showed me this. Isn't this cool? can pull that off like I I'm just I don't know why but that just thrills me <laughs> okay anyway I'm uh, gonna put Yara in here and I uh, need a skinny bottle I'm also going to throw velvet vanilla in here and now we are finished the first carousel honestly I just love the way this carousel actually turned out I think it looks really pretty it's pretty heavy I love this one especially so there you go this here oh let's just see the graduation why does this excite me it's not perfect but it works it's functional love it and then my bottom level how amazing yes okay moving on to the other carousel okay so now moving on to this shelf uh i'm gonna put these fragrances in here Honestly, I don't think I'm going to reach for this very much, so I'm going to pull it out because I need to make room for an awful lot of fragrances. This one I want to keep in here, although I'm tempted. Oh, there just isn't room. So uh, I'll, I don't know, kind of getting lost here. Okay, so I'm going to throw my Lanterdi uh, Rouge in there. Um, I've got room for one more. So I'm going to put Angelic Elixir in there for now. We'll see what happens. I've got Mula Mula. This is super fruity and awesome. I'm going to put actually Empress in here because they're both kind of strawberry centric fruity fragrances. And that's basically all that's going to fit in here. Um, for this one, I'm going to put Habibi in here, which I'm absolutely in love with. Just thrilled with that one. French Kiss, I'm going to leave out for now because, uh, yeah, I want to make room for other fragrances for now. I'm going to put Girl of Now in here as well. And I think that I'm going to put uh, just Wee Plus and I'm going to take out Pesho Yuzu from now. And I'm going to put in Zucchetto Filato. I actually use that a lot in the winter to you know sweeten things up if I want to. For here I've got Scandal uh, by Night which is a very gorgeous fragrance. What else do I want to put in there? I think I'm going to put Tom Ford's uh, Noir Pour Femme. Love this fragrance. And I'm also going to put Basmata uh, by uh, Untamed in there. I'm gonna wear Basmata today. Oh it's I, I actually really love this fragrance. So um, she made me this fragrance kind of as a special little bespoke thing. So I really, really enjoyed it. It's got blackberry in it, which is just delicious. I think it's got blackberry rose, some booziness. It's, it's awesome. Next is this little mini shelf. I'm going to leave my Angel Muse in there. I always have it in there. I'm going to put uh, Cherry Delight if it fits. Actually, I'm going to put all my B layers in there. So I'm going to put First Kiss. Does it fit? Oh, just barely. Yikes. Uh, Cherry, De Cherry Delight and Dolled Up. So I'm going to put Dolled Up back here because I don't reach for it near as much. And then I'm going to put First Kiss in front. Is this going to work? 
and then uh, Cherry Delight there. Oh yeah, that works. That looks great. It looks beautiful. Okay, in this shelf, I've got Commodity Milk Plus. Um, I've already got milk out. I need to do a wear test on both of these to really decide which one I like the best. Uh, right now, I'm liking milk, so but I need to actually try them both together uh, and wear them for a day. But anyway, so I'm going to pull Milk Plus out for now because I don't need both of them. I'm going to throw in camera in here, and I think ah, I'll put uh, Angel Muse in there like that. That works. I actually like that. And then for this shelf, I'm going to pull out, this is uh, La Nuit Trésor à la Folie. I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to put in just the straight up La Nuit Trésor for the winter because it's special occasion and sexy date night and all that kind of wonderful stuff. And then down here, I've got Elisab Le Parfum Royal. Love this fragrance. It's a beautiful kind of patchouli rose. Uh, yeah, it's uh, honestly one of my favorite fragrances. It should be actually in my other carousel. So that one's going to go in there. This is a Tom Ford Lost Cherry dupe that's actually really excellent. But I don't need two dupes out right now. So I'm going to pull this one out for now. If I can fit it, I'm going to just put this one in here. Yeah, that'll work. That'll, yeah, that'll work. So I'm, but I'm going, no, that's okay. It, it can be like that. That works. So I'm going to have uh, Le Parfum Royal here and then uh, Mont Guerlain in here. Mont Guerlain, I could possibly pull it out, but I actually just really love having this fragrance out, you know, just, just in case I need it. Just in case I need a little bit of comfort, I go to this one. Okay, so we have the bottom shelf here. Um, I'm going to uh, leave this one in here for now. It's Christmas time and you need a little bit of chestnuts roasting on an open fire. So got to leave that one out. Um, I'm also going to put in Botafumero. Uh, Botafumero by Carner Barcelona. This is a beautiful incense fragrance. And the two of them will fit there. That's awesome. Okay, to be honest... Um, like I'm definitely leaving out my uh, Floral Streets Ylang Ylang because a girl's got to have a little bit of naughty in her life. I'm just wondering if I can shove it. Oh, yes. I'm going to show you. I just put it up into here, which works perfect. And the color works with it. Yee, I love it. Okay, so that's there. I need to dust all these bottles. So I've got these three that I'm actually going to leave empty. So all of these, um, like this one's a springtime fragrance. I've got quite a few fragrances that are actually great for wintertime. Uh, but I've got some other fragrances that are coming over the next uh, couple of weeks. And so I need to save room because what I do every time is I end up overwhelming myself. So these three are going to stay empty. Uh, until my new fragrances come in and then depending on how they fit in here uh, then I will potentially pull some of these out but I'm really happy with what I've got in here uh, for now like oh my goodness like look at that I feel so blessed like I really love fragrance this is so not necessary uh, to have this many fragrances but the fact that I can uh, feels like a real gift Okay, on to other things. So with this whole scenario, I am going to just tidy and put away some of these boxes literally just need to be thrown. So sometimes I struggle with throwing boxes away for whatever reason. So uh, yeah, it's time to just deal with things. Some boxes I like to keep for a little while longer, uh, just in case I decide that I uh, like the fragrance or don't like the fragrance and want to sell it. But, uh, most of this just needs to be put away. So this is way better. <laughs> it still has a ways to go. So there's some fragrances that I'm just testing out that I have to leave here because I have no else, no place else to put them. We do have a guest bedroom that for various reasons we are not using. Uh, so I may turn that into a studio cause I need more room. And then what I've done here is I've got kind of all my dupage type fragrances uh, from Dua, um, Chez Pierre, Okcha, 
uh, just ones that I'm just not currently using here. I've got uh, my fragrances. Most of these are summer, but not everything. And then some fragrances that I know I'll be wanting to dip into uh, kind of over here. Uh, what about you guys? Now you see all these boxes. Um, I kind of struggle to get rid of the boxes, but I'm going to start just uh, recycling them all uh, as long as I know that I love the fragrance going to get rid of them. So I'm going to get this all cleaned up and then I'll give you a final look. So that is what we have. This is what my desk looks like now. There's my bed. Here's me saying goodbye. I'll turn the, the camera around. These are my recyclables <laughs> from the boxes. That is it. That is uh, organization Maria. <laughs> Like I said, I saved some room for fragrances that I know are coming. Uh, it's still not optimal, but it's getting better. And I'm going to just start changing my fragrances out, likely every month at this point, because I want to keep trying different ones, especially for the winter. So if you're interested in that, seeing more organization, just let me know. And other than that, we'll talk to you soon. We'll talk to you soon. We'll talk to you soon. Yeah. Should we talk to them soon? Yeah. Tale as old as time, long as it could be. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Beauty and the beast. <laughs> Which one's the beast, though? That's the big question.